this is a video where i'm going to be personally following up all the comments on the comment section to make sure you start making money with a strategy i want to show you on this particular video so please watch to the end of the video i'm promising i'm going to do a personal follow-up a personal one-on-one -on -one follow up for everyone who is going to be commenting on this particular video with any question about this strategy because this is a very simple and yet a very very profitable strategy which i don't care if you started learning how to trade yesterday you'll be able to make money with this strategy this is a guarantee i'm telling you guys this is a guarantee so please stay to the end of the video and let me know in the comment section if you have any question about this particular strategy what's up guys and welcome back to the channel my name is indemnese golov and on this channel uh, i talk about trading business personal finance and tips to help you stay profitable on a consistent basis so if this is your first time watching my content or if you've been watching and you haven't subscribed make sure you smash that subscribe that red subscribe button below to subscribe to the channel so what is the strategy we're going to be talking about today this is a strategy where i'm not trying to reinvent the wheel but the forex market something that might be working yesterday there's no guarantee it's going to be working tomorrow and even if it has to work tomorrow it doesn't mean the same way it was working yesterday is the same thing way it's going to work tomorrow so this is a moving average strategy but this is the golov's own style of trading the moving average strategy because after eight years of trading with my eight years of experience this is the only way that works period and i'm going to be showing you guys example we're going to do back testing on a couple of currency pairs this is going to blow your mind so after eight years of trading this is the only way which works when it comes to trading with moving averages i'm going to be showing you guys the settings i'm going to be showing you guys which parameters to use i'm going to be letting you guys know which time frame to use i'm going to be letting you guys know which market session and even the currency pairs you can use this strategy so you're going to have everything from a to z to start trading with this strategy at the end of the video so as you can see on my screen this is a chart of great britain pound jpy which this strategy performs very well on this uh, on this chart as well i'm going to be giving you guys a recommendation of currency pairs that perform very well with this strategy right so this is cut uh, great britain pound jpy and on great britain pound jpy we have the five minute time frame this strategy can work on any time frame but i just prefer to use the five minute time frame sometime because i want to see results i want to know if the market is going to go up or down i want to know if it was a winner or a loss so that i can go to the next trade so you can use the five minute time frame the same way i want to show you guys on this particular example all right so what are moving averages moving averages are just mean measures that are able to measure a particular period in the market and give you an average movement for that particular period for for example if i have a moving average uh somewhere somewhere on this particular chart and this market is actually moving from here to here this simple moving average or exponential moving average is actually going to be sloping down because how is it calculated you take the, the moving you take candles on that particular period and you divide by their average meaning if i'm taking from here to here i have one two three four five i have five candles i'll be able to divide it by five and have the mean those who do statistics you have the mean the mode the median and all of that so you look for the median price and you, you are able to put it as one you put it as two you plot you plot that so that those figures which are plotted are the ones that end up using, giving us that line which is sloped downward so you don't need to worry yourself on how the the, the the moving averages are plotted already the computer already has already done everything for you just need to go on your instruments you just drag in moving average put on your chart and you are good to go so you don't need to worry about how is it from now you just need to know if you are using exponential moving average or simple moving average so write this down the first step uh we're going to be using uh an exponential moving average why are we using an exponential moving average an exponential moving average is able to easily catch a quick movement in the market and allow us to be able to get out of a trade because we are working on volatility currency pairs and also on lower time frames that the market can actually kick us out very very soon so we want to be able to use exponential moving average because if we are using a simple moving average we're going to be able to have a lot of fake signals so the moving average we're going to be using here is the exponential moving average because exponential moving average is going to be able to filter out a lot of noise and filter out a lot of fake signals if we're using a simple moving average we're going to be having a lot and a lot of signals which most of these signals are going to be fake signals all right so the first step is we're going to be using an exponential moving average number two step number two uh when it comes to apply apply type you'll be able to see what it says as apply type instead of putting the close price we're going to be putting the 
median price just write down apply type median price and the reason why we're putting the median price is because if we put uh the the, the, the apply type on the close price most of the time when the price has gotten to a particular level the market might just be fluctuating and if you put that on close price the robot or the system the moving average system will just close your trade when it's still a potential trade but when you put on median the system is able to calculate the median and let you know and let the market let the chart know that okay even if the market is fluctuating let's allow the market to still work in a particular incremental manner because we are measuring according to the particular median so that's why the median price tends to still allow us to stay on a potential trade more than just putting the close price close price if the market just go up the moving average will just go up immediately close your trade if the market goes down the moving average will just go down and then close your trade so apply type is median we're going to the strategy step by step then step number three the, the, these are the moving averages we're going to use we're going to use a 23 period 23 period exponential moving average which is going to be the fast moving average and we're going to use the 10 period exponential moving average which is the slow moving average as simple as that there is nowhere on the internet you will see these secret settings nowhere on the internet but this is the only way that works all right this is the only way that works you won't see this on the internet anywhere good so after you've gotten step one step two and step three now let me show you guys the example on the chart so if you can come on your chart let me just minimize this minimize this let me go on indicators uh and under so to be able to put your moving average because you actually have to put a moving average on your chart and mt5 will do everything don't worry people say no mt no mt5 will do everything from the start to the end so you just come to where you come on your mt5 you go to where it says indicator you click there you go to where it says trend because remember a moving average is able to measure a trend so you click on trend and you come down to where it says moving average this is moving average it's just drag and drop on your screen simple the first one is going to be the 10 period the period is 10 and uh method is exponential remember i said exponential then apply to what did i say median instead of close so let's go down this is median simple that is the first uh, moving average so you click on yes let me make let's make the color to be a little bit let's make let's make the line you can increase the lines to be a little bit thicker right so that you can easily see so let's make it like this perfect so this is our first uh, slow moving average which is the 10 period exponential moving average after that we need the second moving average with the second period all right because remember that is where we're going to generate our signal everything is going to be automated and you'll be able to get your signal so what is the second moving average you just come here again you click on moving average a drag to your chart and on that period now we're going to put 23 all right period 23 uh method exponential and median but now we change this color now to let's just put uh, blue let's put blue color right because the two moving averages have to have different colors boom that is that that is the magical system simple as that we have now a system that we can start making money as we speak let's do it by testing or let me tell you guys how the signal how do you get into the trade or how is the signal generated so you can see with those secret filters and those secret settings can you see how the those moving averages have been able to filter to give us clear signal how do you get into a trade you get into a trade where let me quickly show you this i need like this square box uh, let me just come here i think the square box I want to just bring in a square box guys so that i can use it to map most of those areas okay i need this one inset then i can move it up let's move it up good so i need that square box so i need this square box okay you can see we had this this uh, moving average cr crossover right here we can even change it to black so that you, you guys can see very well so let's put this on black then we can increase the thickness as well let's increase the thickness good so you can see this moving average crossover somewhere here where this where the uh the, the slow moving average cross over the fast moving average or the 10 period moving average cross over the 23 moving average or uh, uh the red moving average cross uh, uh, over uh the 23 moving average so you can see this was a signal right here this was another signal right here i'm just going to give you guys all the signals then i'll tell you guys what uh what market session you should trade this particular session uh, this particular strategy because you need to be able to know the the market session very very well even though you have a lot of fake uh signals all right 
Good. So taking this particular uh, strategy, for example, you can see we had another cross somewhere down here. So even before this cross, we would have already gotten out of the trade. So you can see we had this blue one is our 23 moving average and this red one is our 10 moving average. So when do you have a buy signal? You have a buy signal anytime the red moving average crosses uh, over the green, the blue moving average from below. As simple as that. Anytime the 10 period moving average crosses over the 23 moving average from below. That is a buy signal. As easy as that. That is a buy signal. This is where you're going to be buying. I'm going to tell you guys the risk management too very soon. Then you have a sell signal. Anytime the red moving average again, anytime the 10 period moving average again crosses over uh, the 23 moving average from above. So this is going to be our sell signal. So you see, we would have made a lot of money somewhere here. We would have made a lot of money somewhere here. This is still another signal as we speak. After this video, please go back and do back testing. You're going to see a lot and a lot of opportunity that you would have already started uh, cap uh, uh, capitalizing on that. So how do you trade this? So when you before you get into a trade this is what you do anytime you see a cross immediately there's a cross you see something like this you can see there's actually another cross forming here but i have to wait for it to actually cross for me to actually confirm that okay this red moving average is actually below so it's actually crossing as we speak but it, it hasn't crossed yet so like here you can see everything was already crossed somewhere here so what do i do i just come here and anytime it it, it, it crosses that is where i'm going to be buying i'll just come here and put my lot size let's just say i put now risk management you guys already know that always risk uh, at most one percent of your account so i just come here i put my lot size uh, one then i click on buy so my stop loss obviously i can just see very clearly that reasonably my stop loss should go somewhere here all right so i should be able to put my stop loss here on around 15 pips all right so that even with the market you can see there was a week somewhere here so i don't want to suffocate my trade let your trade breathe all right so i don't want to suffocate them so if i have to buy here and i put my stop loss here let's just go for a risk to reward of one is to two this is a strategy where you can go for a risk to reward of even one is to four you'll be able to strike it sometime so let's just go for a risk to reward of one is to two meaning if we're risking 15 pips we can just go for what we can just go for 30 pips this is 30 pips just somewhere here boom this is 30 pips somewhere here then we, we, we this is our stop loss somewhere here we got into the trade somewhere here so that was our nice first trade boom we already hit our two percent we already made two percent of our account we are out of the trade as simple as that we are just waiting again for another cross there was another cross somewhere here which uh, normally i wouldn't even trade at this particular point in time so by this particular point in time you shouldn't be trading this is the asian session or the tokyo session you shouldn't be trading this strategy this is another point you need to write down this strategy works very very well it works best during the london session and the new york session or by the start of the london session that is when you start trading and by the close of the new york session you should be done with trading all right because that is where we'll be expecting a lot of volatility and anytime there's high volatility in the market you expect this strategy the market we want the market to take one direction we don't want the market to be fluctuating up and down so you only trade this strategy during the london session and during the new york session meaning at the start of the london session that is where you can start trading in south africa that used to be 9 a.m my time the new york used to start again around 2 a 2 p.m the new york closes around uh, 11 p.m so you start at, for south africans you start trading at 9 a.m right up to 11 p.m obviously by that time you should be done you should have make a lot of money you should be done for the day so by the start of the london session that is when you start looking for your signals you start trading you you go toward to the new york session then you continue right up to at the end of the new york session you are done you're done with trading Asian session, please, Australian session, Tokyo session, the market is dead. The market is quiet. If you are looking for signal, that's where you just see a fake signal, then you go and buy, and then you cross again, you run and go and sell you. So you have a lot of fake signals, all right? And you can see this signal, when was this time? If I just put my mouse here, this time was almost at 9 a.m. That was almost the London session. And if I come here again, this good signal you are seeing right here, when was this time? You can see this is 8.45. This, this is exactly 8.50, which is 9 a.m., meaning I would have gotten into the trade again somewhere here on this particular trade, all right? And you can see this was another signal again. Once I have this cross, I'll just come here. I know that, okay, I'm selling somewhere here. Let me just put my stop loss somewhere up here on 20 pip. Don't suffocate your trade. So if I'm selling somewhere here again, if I'm selling somewhere, 
I'll be able to put my stop loss somewhere here. And since I'm risking uh, 20 pips, I want to go for 40 pips. 40 pips, boom. This is 40 pips right here. We're already out of the trade, guys. We don't even care whatever is happening. We are already, I meaning even if we were going for a risk to wait on one is to four, you would have still been in the trade because the market went down for almost about 80 pips. But we we're just going for a risk to wait on one is to two. We we're already out of the trade, all right? Good. So that is that. You put your stop loss. This, this was again another trade. We already made 4% of our account clean, 4% of our client, of our account because we we're risking 1% and we just made 2% again. So with this strategy, with this system, even if you have a 40% win rate, which is going to be rare, with this strategy, you practice it perfectly, you can even have a 60% win rate sometimes. But let's just take the minimum, which is rare, which is rare. Let's just say you have a 40% win rate. 40% win rate meaning you have four winners. Four winners and you're making 2%, meaning you make what? 8%. And you have six losers. Six losers meaning for every loser, you lost 1%, meaning you lose 6%. You lose two six percent and you make 8%. So net overall, you are still up with plus 2%, guys. Making money in forex trading sometimes is just having a system and knowing statistically that over time, if you have a system that is working, you have an edge over the market. So that is the strategy there, guys. Just go back and backtest this strategy. Trust me, you're going to see a lot and a lot of sweet opportunities. Now, these are the currency pairs which work best for this strategy. Any other currency pair, I wouldn't recommend. These are good. Before I even go into the currency pairs that work best for this strategy, can you guys see this? This is actually a good cross right here. So I'm going to actually take this trade and I'll update you guys as time goes on. So this is uh, my actual profit account, $100,000 profit account. I'm going to use a lot size of four just to show you guys an example. So I'm going to be buy I'm going to be selling since this cross, you can see this is a potential cross. The red, the slow moving average has already crossed over the fast moving average and uh, it's actually below. So this is a sell signal. So I just click on my sell. I'm going to be putting my stop loss. If I can put my stop, let's put my stop loss somewhere here on 20 pips and I'll go for 40 pips. All right. So let me just modify. Uh, stop loss is going to be on 20 pips. Oh, you know what, guys? I can see a swing somewhere up there. Let's put it on 25 pips because I don't want to suffocate this, this position and we'll go for 50 pips. So that is a risk to reward of 1 is to 2. So this is, you can see, this is my stop loss somewhere here and this is my take profit somewhere here. So I'll update you guys as time goes on with this particular trade. This is on my profit account just to show you guys an example. All right? Good. So these are the currency pairs that work best. So how do I take this trade? I just wait. I just, this, and you can see the, this is the time here in South Africa. This is actually 12, uh, 12 noon, which is the same, within the same period where I said you should be trading. You start trading from, uh, by the start of the London session, anywhere you are located, uh, right up to the close, because right up to the close of the New York session, because the London session will come, continue to the New York session, then the New York session, Session is going to be ending somewhere in the night, which is my uh, somewhere in the night my time. But just start beginning the London session, close by the end of the New York session. So we already have that signal, and these are the only currency pairs or the currency pair according to my experience that work very well for this strategy. You have gold, which is S A U U S D. Uh, please be taking them down. Be taking them down. You have gold, which is S A U U S D. You have uh, Great Britain pound J P Y. You have A U D J P Y. You have Great Britain Pound USD, you have Euro USD, you have uh, uh, USD CAD, USD JPY, CAD JPY, and uh, Euro Great Britain Pound. These are the other currency pairs that will be able to work very well for this strategy. Don't worry, I'm also going to put all of the currency pairs on the screen as I was mentioning them so that you can still, uh, you can still just copy them. But other currency pairs you can practice, but you won't have effective results like the currency pairs I've mentioned here. I did mention of KJPY, right? So KJPY should be among uh, the currency pairs. And trust me, with this strategy, you don't need to worry yourself, guys. Just stick to one strategy and, and know that, okay, make that strategy yours. Take this strategy and make it yours. You can even go up to the 15-minute time frame if you want to trade a 15-minute time frame. You can go up to the 4-hour time frame if you, want your, if you want swing positions. You want your trades to be open for long, you can even go up to the 4-hour time frame. Trust me, practice this strategy and I promise you this might be the only strategy you ever need in Forex trading because most of my trades that you see, I just took a trade and I'll update you guys as time goes on on this particular trade. 
So if you want to be able to uh, join me uh, so that we can trade together, if you want me to mentor you one-on-one, -on -one, then check the link below to enroll in Golov University. In Golov University, we're going to be able to trade together, do Zoom sessions together, uh, do analysis together. And you're also going to be joining a community of active traders, almost about 5,000 5, traders who are sharing ideas on a daily basis. Also check the link below to join my free Telegram community where there are almost more than 10,000 subscribers already on Telegram sharing ideas on a daily basis. If you want to use Petrex Pro, one of the most viral and profitable Forex robot, also check the link below to use Petrex Pro. Click here to watch a strategy which I made, which you can still use it alongside this particular strategy. Click here to watch a beginner A to Z playlist, almost about 80 videos on how to trade Forex. Click here to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on these other videos. Peace!